Hey everyone. So I just wanted to talk about um, chosen ones, lifestyle, and the differences versus that of coworkers. So the most high places you in a certain place, maybe a project, maybe a place where you have to bring um, ministry, you're bringing light into the workforce. Sometimes he's going to ask you to um, bring peace or bring laughter into the workplace. Perhaps there's no laughter. Perhaps there's sadness. Perhaps there's no joy. So you come in laughing and you come in joyful, right? And it stirs up everyone's spirit. Well, co-workers will sometimes start to um, feel as though they're not able to be um, of your of your light, you know, of what, of what, um, is beneficial for everyone because they want to bring their wicked spirit or the spirit or their, um, their all knowing type of, you know, like all knowing, um, agenda to the workplace. Maybe it's the cursing, maybe it's to get you to to be faulted or to, to fault someone else, or maybe it's to, um, so that your personality looks scarred, or maybe uh, to get you to celebrate holidays, or get you to just be upset and disregard everyone as a whole, the whole team. Uh, many examples I've had have been um, while working, even just this recently, like I felt like it was an agent. It was like somebody of the devil just trying to ask things of me. Turns out they were talking about young, young Kapoor. And I said, yes, the feast of, uh, the feast of trumpets. So, um, they were aware. I don't know if the other person was Jewish, but at that time, we didn't get too much into it yesterday, but I was able to shed light and bring praise and honor and glory to the Most High. I didn't get to talk. I didn't get to bring in Yahushua. I talked about um, writing Hebrew, speaking Hebrew, which is on my other sheet. It's not on the sheet. Speaking Hebrew, um, the alphabet letter, and as a whole, it did shed some light upon I don't celebrate Christmas and my last name and how that's a slave master's last name and how that happened to a woman that's from Hawaii and very you know as very much like kind of in my business but we've been able to sort of find a rapport between both of us and talk but the thing is is that you'll be placed in a situation to bring honor glory and praise the most high to um to battle the evilness and balance out everything that's in that workplace. And, and believe me, co-workers will push you. They will want to go drink after. They will, um, anything and everything they can find. And right now it's even harder um, with what we have going on. Vaccinations, masks, everything else, mandate this, mandate that. And and it's finding the balance and it's, it's bringing praise and honor and glory to the Most High. Regardless of of um, what everyone else is doing regardless of how there might be laughing at jokes that are inappropriate or something like that that aren't between like a husband and wife you know talking flirting you know like you know talking romantic to each other but this is just people bringing um some sort of curse word or cussing or sexual sexual talk things like that or just something to steer stir up your spirit so that you're not wanting to um you're not wanting 
to excel in love in agape love or or walk as Christ or you know walk with with a white garment they don't want that and that is the test that's the test to see how much salt of the earth you are test to see how seasoned you are test to see what you will do in these trials sometimes in this in this turbulence in this um, tribulation and so that's the the differences on how things are in the workplace so a lot of times they don't want you there they they don't want you there they want to cast you out they don't want you to be a part of that because being a part of that means um succumbing to the world it means it means um lessering your your values and and um your lifestyle and what's what's what high value you have for your life your standards to walk as christ so i just want to bring that to you guys attention talk to you about it and um hoping that um you know from there um can maybe talk more but i just want to sort of go through that um, as a video and just sort of explain to you guys it, it could be it can really try your, your nervous system. It can really get under your skin. You know what I mean? Really vex you. Because all you want to do is just get your checks and do what you have to do for the purpose in your life. You don't want to get into these conversations with all coworkers. But sometimes it is of a blessing to smile and bring laughter. Because where I'm at, they're they're nice and everything, but they're they're masking their true identity because of wearing a mask. We have to have the mask on and and so it's it's like even though I don't wear a mask, I don't wear it everywhere. It's like you have to wear it in certain places of the office, not right at your desk, but certain places in the office, in the kitchen, and so forth. So because those are for funds, I understand the financial situation. But I haven't been wearing one for months, you guys, seven months, eight months. So I had said in my video that if it was about finances, I may have to wear it. But it's that they have lost their, their smile, you know, they're like this, their inability to be happy. So they look like they're frowning at the time. They look negative. They're sad. Their face is withdrawn. So by coming in and hello, everyone, and grand rising, you know, royal rising, and smiling and laughing at things brings joy. It's that sometimes those laughters that those coworkers have are not genuine. They're, um, you know, they're rude. So that's, that's the other thing I just want to say. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. Shalom.